Okay, this lesson is Alex statistics, factorial expressions. And so as we look at this problem, this often causes an amount of stress for our students because of all of these exclamation points. And they will ask, what's going on here? So let's quickly take a look at my notes on this, and maybe this will help to clear it up. Now in English, an exclamation point is used when you exclaim something like run or stop. So in statistics class, oftentimes students see an expression like this, and they would say, four. OK, but that's really not what we have in mind. What we're talking about in statistics with the exclamation point is to pronounce that four factorial, which means that we are going to multiply, starting with the four, then times three, times two, times one, of course. And that answer gives us 24. So for our rule, simply start counting backwards to 1, multiplying as you go. Now there is a special rule because what happens if you were to ever have the problem 0 factorial? That would be perplexing because how are you going to count backwards to 1 when you're already starting with 0? Well the answer there that mathematicians uh, have developed is to simply say that that expression is equal to 1 no matter what. Let's look at a problem very similar to what you see in Alex. What we have here is 10 factorial multiplied by 7 factorial, then divided by 9 factorial multiplied by 8 factorial. Now, if you were to multiply all of this out, you would turn up with huge, huge numbers, and it would be a real mess. Fortunately, there is a shortcut, and that's what I will reveal to you right now. Now, look up and down at these numbers. Notice here that these numbers are almost the same size. This 10 factorial is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 all the way to 1. But directly below that we have 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 all the way to 1. And so much of that, those numbers uh, are in common on both of these. Consequently, the 9, the 8, the 7, the 6 are going to cancel or divide out and give 1 in each of those cases. That suggests a way for us to rewrite the problem in a much simpler form. Notice here that we can write the number 10 factorial as 10 times 9 factorial, which means 9 all the way to 1. Directly below that, we have 9 all the way to 1. So the 9 cancels the 9, the 8 cancels the 8, and so on. All of this cancels out or divides to give the answer 1. In the next expression, well, up here we had 7 factorial and 8 factorial, the bigger number being on the bottom. So what we do here then is we say, well, let's start counting down from 8. So we'll have 8 times 7 times 6. But notice that that's all going to cancel out with the 7, 6, and 5, and so on above it. So we will simply rewrite the 8 factorial as 8 times 7 factorial, then cancel the 7 factorials out, leaving us only with 10 divided by 8, which reduces as a fraction to 5 fourths. Yes, and in this case we do exclaim yes that that is our answer. Let's go over here and take a look at a problem that we have within Alex now. And we will notice in this case, if we look up and down, we have a 7 factorial and a 4 factorial. Now what's going to happen there is that we're only going to cancel out the numbers from 4 on down in this top expression. So of the 7 factorial, we're going to have the 7 times the 6 times the 5 left over. But everything else below that will cancel because the 4 factorial is going to wipe out 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. In the second case here, we have a 9 and an 8. And this time, unlike our example, the bigger number is again on the top. So we're not going to have to worry about uh, anything on the bottom because the 8 factorial is going to go away, leaving us only with another 9 on the top of the fraction. Consequently, we can multiply that in our Alex calculator, get the answer 1,890. Put that in here and let's check it. And yes, Alex is happy. You just have to be careful. If there's some numbers left on the bottom, creating a fraction, we must write that fraction uh, as a fraction reduced to lowest terms. They'll want this as a fraction, and they will not accept that as a decimal. OK, so that is factorial expressions in Alex statistics.